Lesson 77. In the last lesson, we learned how to say our in Latin, which is the adjective noster, nostra, nostrum. Now it's time to learn how to say your, but when you're talking to more than one person. That's right. We already learned how to say your once already with the adjective tuus a um, but this is going to work a little bit differently. So this is for when you're talking to a group of people and you want to refer to some item that is owned by more than one of the people that you're talking to. When I was a kid growing up in the South, we would use the term y'alls for this. Uh, like if you are talking to your friends and you see a car next to them, you could say, hey, is that y'all's car? And it's very clear by using the word y'alls that you mean, hey, does it belong to you people, you plural people? So in Latin, the way we say that is with our new adjective for this lesson, westair, westra, westrum. It's another first and second declension adjective. It's very easy to use. Use it just like any other adjective. You can see here in the lesson, we have example sentences like, do you have your book? So the idea of your book in Latin, if it's just one person's book, you'd say liber tuus. But if you want to say y'all's book, a book that belongs to more than one of the people that you're talking to, you would say liber westair, y'all's book. Okay, so it's important here to know the difference between tuus tua tuum and westair westra westrum. One is singular, one is plural. And that's why I do this silly business in this book of using the word y'all, not because uh, I want you to speak like a Southerner, but just to help you keep track of the fact that one is for when you're talking to one person and one is for when you're talking to multiple people to help you learn the Latin, not to help you learn the English.